<laughs> went right down my throat. So today's topic comes from our senior food editor, Claire, and it could leave us in a sticky situation. Tennessee lawmaker Kent Calfee was recently photographed drinking out of what appeared to be a Hershey's chocolate syrup bottle. When questioned about the incident, Calfee explained he was not drinking syrup, but water, because he and his wife like to recycle everything. He also explained that he preferred the syrup bottle over a traditional, fancy, expensive water bottle because he's just going to lose it anyway. I have some questions. First of all, and this is the most important one, will the water not taste like chocolate syrup? And is there another repurposed bottle that's better to drink from? So three things we're looking for. Mm -hmm. How easy it was for us to clean out the bottle. Is there any residual taste left from the product inside? Mm -hmm. And how easy is it to actually drink from the bottle? So I don't let's know, pop let's it give open. it a shot. Okay, down the hatch. <sighs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Okay, first off, definitely you smell chocolate. You can smell right it. Right away. It doesn't taste so much like chocolate though. Mm. I definitely got chocolate on my lips. The little cap thing is kind of annoying because it, a little. it like rubs up against my you know cheek or whatever. Mm. I feel like a baby goat, yeah. <laughs> and you're not getting, I'm definitely getting with each sip like a coating of chocolate syrup around my lip. I'd say this was easy to clean. Okay. Honestly, this was a five. And again, there's not gonna be syrup in there the second time I use this for my mm -hmm. water bottle, so. For residual flavor, I would give it a two or three. I definitely. Wow, really? I, I must smell, have done a terrible. Mine. Okay, it's wow. It's very chocolatey. Mine yeah, mine doesn't smell like that at all. Okay, yeah. So let's meet in the middle, let's call it a three. Yeah, let's call it a three. Um, drinkability, it's easy to drink out of. I'd Relatively give it a four. easy. I want to knock a point for this cap thing. Yeah, let's give it a four. If you had no receptacle and you were very thirsty and you were in the <laughs> desert and all you had was an empty chocolate syrup bottle, this I would, would say do. hack. It, it works. Yeah, this it would is a do. hack. Yeah, in those circumstances only. Mustard. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. I got like three drops. Small bottle, like you're gonna be running back to the fountain to refill this yeah. like every hour. This is really a flask. You could put like <laughs> some like whiskey in right, here. Right, it doesn't like, have to be water. Delicious. There's actually no guarantee this is water. Size is a huge issue here. The bottle itself, not enough water. The little nozzle sippy section, not great. Maybe if you were like a small child and yeah. it was child size. Otherwise you don't get enough water in each sip. Cleaning was kind of a mess, actually. Mustard is obviously has a thicker consistency, so I really had to get in there and I had to rinse it multiple times over and over and over again. Uh, not great to clean. So two? Would not recommend. Yeah, I'd Call say it a two. two. Yeah, it wasn't a total mess, but. Residual flavor, I didn't detect any. Did Me you? neither, I'm shocked. That's like a five. That's a five. Um, drinkability, I, I, a one or a two. That, let's, let's give it a two. Water did come out of it into our mouths. Exactly, if you squeeze and if you, you know, get your, lives perfectly on that nozzle, then you'll get water. Yeah, but now hack or whack. Using our stranded island scenario, if I had to choose between the syrup bottle and this bottle, I'd go syrup every time. Yeah. So whack on this one. Mustard's whack. I'm a little worried about this one because I think it's the only one that's oil-based. Yeah. So I feel like cleaning and residual taste maybe were a big issue here. First off, even before we do, this has the widest opening of yeah. any of our bottles. And no squeezing involved here either. You know, you can use this like a normal water bottle. Okay, well. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Salad dressing. Full, full on salad dressing. <laughs> <laughs> I can taste all the herbs, but only 30 <laughs> calories per serving. You know, I will say cleaning it was very easy. Did you use soap? I. So what do you think? Salad dressing bottle, hack or whack? I have to go whack on this because I don't want my water to taste like salad dressing. Oh boy. Look at this ring. Can you see this on camera? There's a ring of soy sauce here that I couldn't get off. And also I think soy sauce might be like the strongest flavor of anything. And yeah. then the nozzle for the soy sauce is made oh, so you like boy. shake it out. So I don't know if it's gonna be so easy to to drink it in a gulp. Okay, okay let's here give we go. Shot. Cheers. Cheers. I got a lot of soy sauce in that one. Mm. <laughs> That's the only way to do it and get anything out of it. Open mouth? 
Yeah, like, and just squeeze in like bursts. You can't even do like a long stream. Honestly, I didn't get as much taste as I did with the salad dressing. Oh yeah. Which is shocking, because again, there's literally, I didn't clean enough soy sauce. Out I, here. We can visibly see brown <laughs> droplets of soy sauce. Right. The drinkability was tough though. Couldn't really squeeze it comfortably without like applying too much force. Uh, the nozzle is not meant to to drip water into your mouth in any reasonable mm. way. <laughs> Honestly, I was just getting like little droplets yeah. through most of it. Drinkability, I think this is the lowest we've had so far. You can't drink out of it. You is can't whack. drink out of it. This is whack. This is the worst is one a, we've done. Don't do this. No. Ever. Ketchup. First of all, these ketchup bottles are upside down, which I think is probably not ideal for storing water. Ergonomically horrible. There are drops of water yeah. coming out. I have to say that like there is a distinct orange tint in my water. Very much. I think you're gonna be drinking at least five to ten percent ketchup here. Let's go. Cheers. Cheers. Ketchup bottle. <laughs> Let me know when you're ready. <laughs> There's water everywhere. You can't suck the water out. You have to. <laughs> you, have you, to <laughs> <laughs> you have to squeeze it to like release it into your mouth. And then it's a jet stream. <laughs> So I believe that the ketchup bottle has like the clean, like the clean release, you yeah. know, so that you don't get like the crusty thing. Yes. So when you try to suck on this flat nozzle, you don't get anything, no matter how hard you suck. But then when you squeeze it a little bit, it just like shoots it straight out <laughs> in like a very narrow, very forceful stream. You know what it feels like? You know what the eye doctor, when you got like, the glaucoma <laughs> test and it like shoots the puff of eye and you're yeah. like, ah. <laughs> right down my throat. <laughs> I honestly don't ever want to drink anything ever again. No. I think we agree, it's whack. So we ranked these now mm -hmm. from worst to best. Yes, the Ket ketchup. ketchup bottle, easily the worst. By far, this should really, this belongs like off camera, like right here. These are the only two that like you could drink, like I would suggest you could drink out of if you, you could. had to. Yeah, I don't know if I would suggest. I, I wouldn't quite go that far. But drinking out of, an empty chocolate syrup bottle, it is a hack. It is officially a hack. Hats off to you, Senator. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If there are any other hacks that you would like Joel and I to test out, the wackiest of hacks, send them our way. We wanna test them. And of course, remember to subscribe to Lifehacker on YouTube.